All right, this is number five from the 2007 Form B Calc A B exam. It is a differential equation type of problem. So uh, the first part involves uh, drawing a slope field. And uh, from what I can remember of these, this is the worst slope field on any AP exam ever. So I'm going to make a table. Uh, I'm going to put X, and it's going to go in that direction. And then I'm going to put Y, and it's going to go in that direction. Which maybe is not the traditional way. I don't know. Anyway, X goes from negative 1 to 1, and Y goes from 0 to 2. And now what I'm going to do is try to fill in the values. So when x is negative 1 and y is 0, I end up with negative 3 halves by plugging into dy dx. Um, and then when x is negative 1 and y is 1, I get negative 1 half. And then finally I get 1 half. Um, and you can actually see they increase by 1 as you go across the table there. Um, at 0, 0, I just get negative 1. At 0, 1, I get 0 and 1 finally for 0, 2. Um, negative one half, one half, and three halves. All right, let's try to graph this. So, um, negative three halves is really hard for a slope on this particular grid. So I'm actually going to start at the point negative one, one, um, and draw something with a slope of negative one half. So that's down one and over two. So I'm aiming for the point at one zero, uh, and I do my best. I don't know. Um, and then uh, one half is really hard also, but I'm going to so I'm moving to the point negative 1, 2, and I'm going to aim for uh, basically the Y, or uh, actually the, the arrow, which looks like it's kind of halfway. So I tried, I don't know. Um, and then negative 3 halves, uh, that has to be steeper than negative 1 half. Um, so there, I don't know. Uh, the next kind of column is going to be easy, because I'm just going to do when, uh, when X equals 0. So when you're at 0, 0, the slope is negative 1. Um, so just aim at the point uh, negative 1, 1, and you should be good. Uh, slopes of 0 are awesome, and then a slope of 1, just again, aim at the point, negative 1, 1. Um, and then we have the same sort of problem here, where, uh, you know, we just have to aim appropriately. So I need a slope of, uh, I don't know, I need, I need a slope of negative 1 half, so that's back 2 and up 1, I guess. Um, and then 1 half is, uh, down one back two, and then uh, three halves. That's probably not steep enough. I don't. Well, maybe I don't know. I'm aiming at the point uh, negative one zero and hoping for the best. Anyway, that's an awful slope field. So let's move on and do part B. Uh, part B we have dy dx, and what we need to do is find the second derivative, which is going to involve implicit differentiation. So the derivative of one half x is just one half. The derivative of y is dy dx. But I'm not done because I want it in terms of x and y. Um, so what I'm going to do is substitute for dy dx. So for dy dx, I'm, I know that it's 1 half x plus y minus 1, so I'm going to replace that to get this, and then simplify that. So negative 1 half plus 1 half x plus y. Now the second part of the question is, where are the solution curves concave up? So that's when the second derivative is positive. So the second derivative being positive means that that thing I just got must be greater than 0. And that means that y is greater than negative 1 half x plus 1 half. Um, and what does that mean? Well, if you do a really bad sketch and test the point 0, 0, if you plug in 0 for y and 0 for x, you get 0 is greater than 1 half. That's not true, so you want to shade the other side of the line that doesn't contain that point. Um, and then I'll just write a verbal description. So... Um, the solutions are concave up on the half of the plane uh, that's above the line y equals negative one half x plus one half. And I guess that's kind of what they're looking for. Um, in the next part, we have to um, decide if the differential equation has, with that passes through 0, 1 has a um, maximum or neither at that particular point. So we know dy dx. And we know the second derivative from uh, the last part. So what I'm going to do is evaluate both of them at the point 0, 1, and hope that the second derivative test takes care of this. So the first derivative is 0, which is one of the things we needed. And the second derivative is 1 half, which is greater than 0. So I know that the tangent line is horizontal and the function is concave up, so it must be a minimum by the second derivative test. So I'm just going to write that out. And... So y equals f of x 
has a relative minimum by the second derivative test. All right, uh, moving on to the last part. So what we're told here is uh, that y equals mx plus b is a solution to the differential equation. And what I want to do is I want to solve for m and for b. And I'm going to do that by equating coefficients. So what I want to do is get two different forms of dy dx. So take the derivative of that and just get uh, m plus, I'm going to say 0x, because there are no x's. And I'm going to need the x coefficient. Take the derivative, uh, not take the derivative of that, take that and substitute. So we have 1fx. Now what we're going to do is substitute y equals mx plus b in for y here, so we get plus the quantity mx plus b minus 1, and then kind of simplify this. And now if you look at this, we can factor it a little. So there's a 1 half in front of an x, and there's an m in front of an x. So the, really the coefficient of x is 1 half plus m, and then plus b minus 1. All right, so now let's equate coefficients. So the coefficient of x here is 1 half plus m. Coefficient of x there is 0, and that gives us the equation 1 half plus m equals 0, so m is negative 1 half. All right, now let's look at the constants. So we have b minus 1 for one of the forms, and we have m for the other. So b minus 1 equals m, and then, whoops. And then uh, we can add this, and there we go. So b is 1 half, m is negative 1 half. We do that by equating coefficients. Uh, it's not the most common thing on the AP exam, but it shows up, so make sure you know how to do it. All right, that was the whole problem. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck.